Uh, before we need a little bit more understand uh, concerning the gate. What is the gate is? This opportunity for any human, for self moving for any direction. Uh, for example, the child with just was born has gait reflexes and the gait remain matrix for the age about seven years old and remain in the same condition to the age 65 or 70 years. It's very automatic uh, locomotion and cyclic which is uh, very convenient for investigation and ancient locomotion. It means it's come for us from quadrupedal uh, animals. Whole body participated in walking process uh, from head to the heels. The walking process is very sensitive to neurological and orthopedic pathology because whole musculoskeletal system participated in the, this uh, and neurological central and peripheral uh, nervous system manage this process. And it's also highly sensitive to changing patient's functional condition. It means uh, the patient couldn't be trained or uh, treated uh, by any methods and we can get a result uh, how it feels objectively for just a few minutes, sometimes a few hours or more. Before to analyze the gate, we need a little bit to understand about what is the gate cycle is. It's the main point for uh, gate understanding. It's uh, very different from our usual understanding of the gate. You can see the picture. Here, the black color is a right leg, white color is a left leg. Uh, for example, the right leg is placed on the ground, just uh, heel contact. It's also the beginning of the walking circle. And the walking circle will remain to the time when the, this uh, foot will place on the ground on the next time. So from one heel contact to another heel contact. Whole the walking circle has uh, for normal uh, adult person about uh, 1.2 seconds uh, period. And this uh, period divided on the two big groups. When food placed it on the ground, it's stance phase and it's out of the ground, swing phase. The stance phase takes about 60-64% of whole walking circle. And swing phase, our remaining time, 40 or 36%. But the stance phase, a little bit more complicated because this include three in other phases. Uh, again, the right leg, just place it on the ground, but the le left leg is remain on the ground. So the stance phase is beginning from double support phase. Uh, and it's beginning, so it's the first double support. It's two double support phases uh, during the stance phase. When the left leg out of the ground and swim time, is beginning for the left leg, only right leg remain on the uh, ground. It's single support phase during the stance phase. And the left leg come to the ground again. It's second double support phase also beginning. 
but the left leg or right leg it's no difference for a normal person come to the ground uh, during the particular gate circle directly at 50 percent so half uh, walking circle each half walking circle uh, some step come to the ground so it's uh, just about the uh, walking circle some uh, basic understanding <clears throat> how we make a gait assessment at clinics uh, before 20th century it's possible to do just visual audio uh, it's uh, really not diagnostic it uh, was uh, not objective assessment about uh, 50 years ago a lot of uh, different clinical tests come to the practice. You can see here some of them uh, clinical tests, but it's not also diagnostic, it's just assessment because any of uh, clinical tests um, just uh, make point patient can walk or not, patient can uh, walk on the stairs up or down or not. Uh, can patient walk uh, independently or with cane or some other assistive devices? Can patient turn around or not? So it's uh, just a patient condition, uh, but not uh, really uh, a registration any of these parameters. It's possible to do uh, j just instrumental investigation. But before we could do that, we need to understand the standards, how it's necessary to do, how to calculate pa parameters, how to understand uh, them. You can see here a few monographs uh, from the past uh, to the current time, uh, and if you um, journal articles, they put the uh, standardization committee of different uh, scientific societies. Uh, here I would like to present the uh, first uh, cover page, the books, a few books about the gate analysis, uh, which was published for the last 30 years. Uh, next, some more books, but it's not all, of course. I just uh, main books which uh, is using for understanding and analyzing the need. So it's for the industry. How we are working today? Uh, different system uh, was using in the past time, but now Generally, we can see in the clinics system is like this. A specific carpet, on which sensor on each square centimeters, and patient walk uh, on this carpet, and computer calculate uh, all of the gate parameters. But uh, it's need to some space, and it's uh, expensive enough, and also could be broken by patients uh, shoes or some in other uh, devices the new technologies come in uh, just for last 20 years and about maybe five or seven uh, into the clinics it's inertial technology uh, each sensor uh, which we see here include the specific chip with uh, 3D accelerometers, 3D gyroscopers, and by a specific algorithm they could calculate all the gate parameters. It's not many systems uh, in the world uh, which use 
this um, technology. You can see here from Switzerland, uh, German, and our steady system. It's the point for our conversation today. Thank you for your attention.